lots more. And we've got plenty more to come on today's show as we now move into the Capitol Center, Landover, Maryland, and you're going to see the big boys of the pulling sport, the multi-engine, earth-shaking, modified tractors will go into competition in some of the world's best with as many as five engines hooked up will be going into competition here on Super Tracks. We get right off the bat, taking a look at Papa Bear 3. Earl Henderson will be our first competitor to come out. This competition in this field includes some of the world's best known pullers like Paul Norman, John Powell, they'll be out a little bit later, but it's Earl Henderson laying down the first shot. Outstanding pull for Earl Henderson and the Papa Bear 3. Looking at it again. Beautiful tractor, four engine combination, and boy, did he have plenty of muscle on all four of them. On the test pull, he takes it out of there, and so we've heavied up the sled. The test puller helps us get a determination on how that sled is setting. And indeed, the U.S. Hot Rod Association officials said, hey, wait a minute, first guy about drove the thing out the back door. We better add some more weight. So another 10,000 pounds goes on the back of the sled. And the pullers are going to have now a lot tougher time, I would think, getting this sled up the track. So Earl Henderson and the Papa Bear 3 is going to come back in a minute. But we're back to action. Whoa! Twin Allison aircraft engine power. Not quite enough to get a real good run as we're going to take a look at it once again on the replay. Boy, you can see those Twin Allisons and their penchant for just popping and spitting and popping and spitting. And indeed, the run comes all the way down, 155 feet, two inches for Richard Rockefeller and the policy peddler. Now this one to go paint job is pretty incredible. And kind of a hot fluorescent green, if you will. Gary Mill and one to go. All right, you can hear the unusual whine and the unusual looking engine. That's a turbine engine. There's that turbine whine as he takes it out. Oh, and it detonates on it. It just exploded after about 20 feet. And one to go goes in a puff of smoke and a flash of flame. One to go is going to break, and he'll have to settle for an official run of just 20 feet. And I know Gary Mills is terribly disappointed with that bad break here at Landover, Maryland, in the Cap Center. Well, Papa Bear 3 now will come back. You'll remember he was our test puller and banged it all the way to the back end of this building. They heavied the sled up, and now Earl Henderson will try it again. The distance to beat, 155 feet, 2 inches, Richard Rockefeller and the policy peddler, the current leader. But Papa Bear 3, four-engine combination, looked awfully strong on the test pull. Here he comes again. just being released from those engines on another super pull as he blows into the lead way past the mark of the policy peddler. Earl Henderson is looking good at the cap center. His distance, 178 feet, three inches far and away, makes Earl Henderson the leader in Papa Bear 3. Papa Bear no three behind it, will now take the shot at taking over the lead from Papa Bear 3. This is Vernon Corlick, and Vernon in the Papa Bear knows he's got his work cut out for him because Papa Bear 3 and Earl Henderson with a very, very impressive run. Now note the extra engine sitting right in the middle. This is a five engine combination on the Papa Bear. We'll see if the extra engine means any extra distance for the Papa Bear and Vernon Corlick. You can see problems with one engine cost him some distance. He was close 
but the Papa Bear unable to grab the lead as in essence he almost came down to four engines despite having the other one hooked on and the distance will only be 172 feet 11 inches I say only it's a strong pull but it's not good enough to take the lead Vernon Corlake and the Papa Bear at 172 feet 11 inches will find that pull at least for the moment will drop him into the number two position. Groundhog will be next up. This is Bob Kinzer, and Kinzer knows he's got his work cut out for him, as he'll have to try and out-muscle Papa Bear 3's impressive pull earlier today, which came in at 178.3. Groundhog takes the slack out of the chain, and Bob Kinzer is next up to try and get it done here in the cap center. going the three engines not enough to really get it cranking as the groundhog underpowered not enough to battle with some of the four and five engine combinations here today and groundhog comes up quite a bit short the distance of the pull is just 96 feet and change so the groundhog and bob kinzer 96 feet two inches will finish well back in the competition today tally davis comes out next the running bear and again the running bear is one that'll try a little bit less horsepower than some of the others and hope that it'll hook to the track a little bit better. You know, there are some times when you can have a little bit too much for a track. That does not, however, seem to be the case here in the Cap Center. This seems to be a place you need all the engines and all the horsepower. And so Davis may be underpowered. Let's watch Tally in action. Two engines, just not enough to go up against these guys here today at the Cap Center in Landover, Maryland on the U.S. Hot Rod Tour. The running bear did not get a lot of wheel speed at any point on their pull. Not bad, but 138.1 is not going to be enough to get near the front of the pack today. So 138 feet, one inch, the official distance for the running bear and Tally Davis. Well, you know, in this sport of modified tractor pulling, this has to be one of the most recognizable faces and vehicles in the sport today. Paul Norman out of Charlotte, North Carolina and the All-Pro War Wagon. That black suit, black helmet, when he takes the helmet off, he sticks on a black cowboy hat. They call him the man in black. And the big guy from Charlotte, North Carolina, just going with three engines on the tour this year. And again, may be hard for Norman to outmuscle Papa Bear 3. Let's see what he's got. Paul Norman and the All-Pro War Wagon. short of the lead distance it's going to put him in the upper crust here today however as Paul Norman's three engine combination the all pro auto parts war wagon will come in at 162 feet four inches the official distance for Paul Norman out of Charlotte North Carolina a good pull but it won't be enough to knock Earl Henderson from the top spot Papa Bear 3 continues to sit number one at 178 feet three inches Vernon Corlig and the Papa Bear is number two. That's at 172 feet and 11 inches. And then in the third spot, Paul Norman, the War Wagon, up to the moment, 162.4. Policy Pedler with Richard Rockefeller is fourth. Tally Davis, Running Bear, sits fifth. Coming up way short, the altitude adjuster not quite getting it down the track. Philip Jones has a little problem right there at the end of the run. And once again, just a couple of engines. So the two engine combinations, because this is a track where you gotta have some horses not getting up there enough. 97.9, 97 feet, nine inches for Philip Jones and the altitude adjuster. The Clod Hopper, I love the name of this track. The Clod Hopper comes out next as Robert Hutton We'll see if he can do anything with the Papa Bear three distance of 178 feet, three inches. Just a couple left to knock Earl Henderson off. But working in the wings is one of the most powerful machines, the John Powell Powell pulling track. Here's the clod hopper though.
another case of not enough horsepower, the quad hopper will get across the 100 foot mark, but not much more. On the replay, you see Robert Hutton getting the uh, wheels spinning just a little bit. He crosses that 100 foot line, but that's about all the further the quad hopper can get this one up the track in Landover, Maryland. The distance is 111 feet, two inches. Well, Earl Henderson at Papa Bear 3 is your leader at 178.3. However, I guarantee you Earl is pacing the floor right now because the only competitor left is the toughest here today in Landover, Maryland based on points over the last couple of seasons with the U.S. Hot Rod Association. We're talking about John Powell and the powerful Powell pulling tractor. And you can see John's got those big engines hooked up. Four engine combination is underway. Superb pull, and it is exactly right at the spot, right at the cone where Papa Bear 3 was. We'll have to wait for the distance. He had to beat 178.3. And incredibly, look at the distance. The difference between the two is only three inches. John Powell wins it by three inches. 178 feet, six inches. You cannot get the competition any closer than that. John Powell picks up a U.S. Hot Rod win by three inches over the Papa Bear 3 as you look down the way the rest of them finished at the Cap Center in Landover, Maryland. Hats off to some great pulling and to John Powell who comes out of here as the winner over Papa Bear 3 and the Papa Bear.